why do why do less people go for wrist locks? I mean, they're available everywhere, but they're looked down upon as if like heel hooks were 10 years ago. Yeah, I see. Why is that? I'll answer first. I want you go, Joey. But what I think about wrist locks per, uh, personally is like, they are no big deal. The, the, the whole joke about them to me is just similar to like the, the pineapple on pizza or hating Nickelback, <laughs> you know, where it's like, it's not you know, it's just preference. It's just like not a big deal. It's just almost like it's just like a, a joke people make just because there's no other jokes they can think of. Oh, see what I mean? I don't know. But like, I think they're just a great submission. And if someone wrist locks me and I don't think, oh, you know, you asshole or anything, that's like, oh, you got me good. And Joey is like a very good wrist locker and he just wrist locked the shit. No, he wrist locked <laughs> the shit out of someone in a tournament. I still have the video of it actually. I found it in my Google Drive. Oh, was, yeah. Maybe I can get Vaja to, uh, post it like while we're talking about it right now yeah Yeah. exactly because that was a dirty wrist lock that was beautiful so the one where you broke the guy's wrist yeah 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 Yeah. (laughs) so i feel bad you know at the same time we shouldn't be like gloating about it but at the same time um you know he could have tapped earlier but like it's just that's the risk you run when you do a tournament and yeah joey let us know about uh your wrist locks you're the wrist lock master yeah I, i love a good wrist lock i think i think a lot of the reason people hate them is because they're really easy to do and if you don't see it coming, they can come on really fast and there's not a lot you can do about it. Like if your wrist gets caught and someone starts putting that pressure, you don't really have a ton of time or ways out. It's just kind of, ha- you have to tap right away. And I think the stigma is just because like they do come on really quick. And I think some people who do them probably put them on a little too hard. I think I've been guilty of that in the past. Uh, and like, you know, a lot of people work with their hands and, you know, messing up people's hands might not be the nicest thing to do. Yeah, definitely. If you put them on too hard, it's like, yeah, that, that sucks. But if you do put on slow, I think that it's on them to tap for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't like them. Well, it's not that I don't like them. That's why they uh, bother me. They go on so fast and I have bad wrists. I have to tape my wrists every uh, class. So uh, sometimes I end up wrist locking myself just by accident. You know, somebody's weight falls on my hand and probably I have to sit out for five minutes and get the feeling back but yeah that's why i don't exactly love being wrist locked well i think sorry i think it might be one of those ones that are just a little bit harder to put on slow not that like you don't put it on slow and control but it is more difficult to get the tap by still putting on super slow but um you know i've still managed to uh you know get a lot of slow wrist locks but i probably lost some wrist locks too from like you know being very careful and you know which is fine you know like it's not a big deal if you lose a submission because you're being careful but in a tournament, you know, it's just reality is you gotta, you gotta go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like Mike, you and I even had a deal when we would roll where I wouldn't wrist lock you on purpose because I knew like you have bad wrists and yeah. like, to me, like a tap doesn't mean that much. My partner's like, Hey, I have bad wrists. Like that's not the guy I'm going to be like, Oh cool. Free wrist locks all night. Like, no, just protect your partners, take care of them. 